Hi, this is Steve Irwin with Go Engineer. I want to show you how to adjust the XY tip offset by creating the XY tip offset plot. The process is fo as follows. Uh, from the idle screen that you now see, what you want to do is you want to go in and select the maintenance option from the front panel. That's the very bottom button on the printer face. Once you've selected the maintenance, then you want to go in and select the machine option. That will cause some action with the printer to start moving the table. Once the table is in place, then you want to go in and select the tip option. At this point, you are ready to run the Calibrate XY, also known as XY tip offset. Select that option. When you do that, it will start the option flashing to start the part. At this point, you can select the Start Part button and it will print the plot. And the next step I will show you will be to read the plot after the print is completed. There's no reason to watch the printer print the plot. This video will show how to read and adjust an XY tip offset plot for a Stratasys printer. I will now change to my macro lens so that I can give you a closer view of the plot. I have now changed to the macro lens it's a little easier to see, but um, when you use your jeweler's loop in, this, in your startup kit, you'll be able to see even better. Uh, as you'll notice, uh, there is a support bead uh, that runs between two black lines on the plot. And what you're looking for is where that support bead is centered uh, between the two black lines. Uh, on this particular plot it looks like uh, in the Y direction it's pretty close to already being centered at zero. So I can look at this is the negative side of the Y down here. If I look at the positive side of the Y and get it in focus it looks like it's also going to be centered at the positive side of the Z. Now in the X, that's not necessarily the case. In the X, it looks like the bead is actually following far on the left-hand side between the beads. On the, on the uh, positive X side, you'll see that it's actually closer to being centered but it's still to the left hand side of the beads. Let's see if we can get a little bit better picture of it with the focus set better. You can see how that is for sure on the left hand side. It's nowhere close to centered. Uh, there are two ways to tell if uh, this is centered or not. Obviously when you see the bead all the way to the left hand side uh, that's one way. Another way is if you look at the bead um, that's in the middle, there's a support bead that runs right on top of the model bead, and we can actually see a little sliver of the material of the model to the right-hand side of the support bead. If you see that, then that gives you an indication of which side that you need to be looking at. So we definitely need to look at the X side. Whenever I ran this plot, I can tell that it's getting close to centered at 8, but it's actually off the chart. So 8 would not be enough adjustment in the positive X to make the complete calibration. So I set it to 4 in the positive X, and I ran the plot again. So I'll show you the plot that I ran after the sec second run. After the running of the second plot and visually inspecting that plot, I can tell that now 
the uh, support bead is best centered at the plus 7 in the X side. Like I said last time, the 0, or excuse me, the Y, looked like it was perfectly centered at 0. So there was no change required. So at this point, I will show you how you go in and make the adjustment on the printer itself. Because I stated that there was no reason to ch make a change in the Y, I want to go in and use the Select Axis button to be able to change to the axis that I want to make the modification to. So I selected the X axis. Now I want to go in and increment to 7 as I had stated before. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Once the changes are done, all you need to do is select the final button on the bottom and click on done and that finishes the process and records the information in the printer. That concludes the steps required to make the XY offset changes for the Stratasys printers. Thanks, this has been Steve Irwin with Go Engineer.